Friday. It is Friday. Hope everybody's doing well out there today. A little congested. I think I got some fall allergies. Does that exist now? In 2020. And here comes Stella. She's about to make an appearance. Come on. Come on. All right. So. Now she's going to chew a bone first because she knows we're recording. So let's see what our energy is for Friday. What kind of knowledge, wisdom, and guidance? What energy are we dealing with? today. What do we need to know? What would be beneficial for us, for this beautiful collective? Let's see. Let's see what we have. Oh, second chakra, chakra, Archangel Ariel. Oh, that good, good creative energy. Great card for Friday morning as we roll into the weekend. <clears throat> Let's look really quick about our second chakra, home of all the creative goodness. Intimacy and creativity. Intimacy and creativity. What a perfect, what a perfect card for Friday morning. This is a time when the energies of closeness with others and nurturing yourself can flow freely. You can now open yourself to the emotional intimacy that may be coming your way. So nurture yourself and be ready to receive the affection and camaraderie of resident souls around you. Mm, that's good. That is good. I think we all need a little bit of that in our lives, especially now. So that creative, all of the creative goodness that, that comes from our second chakra, tap into that today. See what kind of creative energy flows through you. You see, Stella has to eat, get her bone from on this side, and then eat it on this side. Just so everyone sees her walk, walk through. So we're starting out with some sweet, creative energy. Let's go to the aliens. I usually keep the aliens for last, but let's go to the aliens and see what they have. Our, our star seeds, what kind of knowledge, wisdom, and guidance. Are we building off of the second chakra energy? What do we have? What kind of knowledge, wisdom, and guidance would be beneficial for this beautiful collective today? Double mission. Double mission. Lightworker Starseed. Serve the world by being you. Serve the world by being you. That is so good. Don't be anybody else. Be your damn self connect to that creative energy, and then serve the world by being you. Lightworker, starseed, double mission. We're all here on a double mission. We're lightworkers, we're starseeds, we're helping to inspire the world around us with all of our creative energy. So let it out, let it out, let it out. You're on a double mission. Happy Friday. Good morning, Cindy. Hey, Caitlin, I see you kind of bouncing around. Uh, so we've got second chakra energy and our double mission, light worker, star seed. Light worker and star seeds, which we all are, or you wouldn't be here watching. Maybe you don't even realize that you're a light worker and you're a star seed, and you have magic brewing in your second chakra. Well, you do. Surprise. In case you forgot, I'm reminding you. All right, Keepers of the Light to go along with this beautiful pool today. Ah, Lady Nada, heart opening, heart awakening, awaken to acceptance, the divine love, give and receive in balance. Heart awakening, heart awakening. Awaken, give and receive, divine balance, which is great since we're on a double mission, right? to be giving and receiving and creating all of the goodness from the second chakra. I think we should make something this weekend, my friends. I think you should create something. Maybe just make a cake filled with love. 
But I think the cards are telling us that it is going to be a creative weekend. Let that creative energy flow. Tap into it. And if you think you're not creative, you are. I used to think growing up that I wasn't creative because I couldn't paint or draw. <coughs> Excuse me, like the rest of my family. And then all of a sudden I found photography and I was like, oh shit, look at me. I'm painting with light. Even better, I don't need brushes. I'm painting with the lights and the shadows of the world around me. And then all of a sudden I was like, shit, I am creative. So, if you don't think you're creative now, it's in there. It's in all of us. And it's right here in our second chakra. Let it out. You are a star seed. We're on double missions. All right. Here are our angels and ancestors. Let's go from the middle of the deck. Ooh, and summer. Summer, summer, summer. Bask in joy and light. Bask in the joy and the light. And I think there's going to be a couple, couple of nice weekend days. Bask in the joy and the light. Let the creative energy flow through you. Serve the world by being you. Using your creative energy. Awaken and accept and give and receive all that beautiful love. And then bask in the joy of it. Celebrate it. Celebrate all of the things. Just because it's fall doesn't mean that we don't get to bask in the sun. It's going to be beautiful. Go outside. Enjoy it. Do a little earthing. I like this. I like this reading today. I definitely need to blow my nose. So, one last card. Second chakra. Creative energy. Double mission. Lightworker, starseed, serve the world by being you. I love that one so much. Serve the world by being you. The world needs more of us to be ourselves. And I heard this the other day on a Mark Gross podcast, the woman that was on, I, I wish I knew her name, said that most of us just choose to be average. And we're okay with being average. But if we can actually step into our greatness, if we can tap into all that creative energy and <clears throat> serve the world by being you, you don't have to be average. You just be yourself. Be your most authentic self. And allow yourself to shine. Allow yourself to bask in the joy. Allow yourself the space for your heart to open, to give and receive love. Just let it all out. And be freaking amazing. Stop being average. Stop playing small. Now is not the time to play small. The world needs all of us to play as big as we can possibly play. And so many people think, well, we already have Oprah. If you're starting a podcast, there's already Joe Rogan. Who needs to start another podcast? So we just choose to stay average and do average things. Because we think people are already doing amazing things. Why should I? Well, you should because you were born to be amazing. You were not born to suck. You were born to be amazing. You were born to do amazing things. So serve the world by being yourself, but be your most authentic self. Be your most amazing self. Not just average Joe. Be the best fucking Joe around. Be the best Joe in all of the land. All right. Beyond the mind, <clears throat> the heart beat. Beyond the mind, the heart beats. We have this little brain in our heart. It's, it's been proven. And it remembers things. And it's a beautiful magnet. If we can get out of this brain and move into this brain and be our damn selves, life could be pretty good. So today, <clears throat> connect to the second chakra. Let your creative energy flow. Give her permission to move through you. Say, I don't know what I'm going to create. I don't know what you're going to do. But you have the freedom and the permission to move through me today. And maybe you wash your dishes a little bit differently. Maybe you go on a different walk with your dog today. Maybe you just change things up a little bit so it adds a little bit of creativity into your life. You don't have to paint a masterpiece. Or maybe you will. We're on a double mission. We're here to change the world and inspire the world by being our damn selves being our best self, being the best version of your most authentic self, and not giving a fuck what other people think. 
Let your heart awaken, give and receive love. Know that you're worthy to give and receive love. Move from the heart space, bask in the joy, bask in the joy, and then right here, come back to the heart. Come back to the heart and everything will be fine. Enjoy, love the shit out of yourself, and inspire the world by just being you. This is what the world needs. So, my friends, have a beautiful, beautiful Friday. If you happen to be in Northeast Pennsylvania, I'm teaching tonight in a really big room, so it'll be really, really socially distant uh, at Balance Yoga. You can come join me there. And if you have not requested a 14-day trial for Studio B, where I'll be teaching weekly live classes and pre-recorded classes, send me a DM and I will get you the link to come enjoy all of the amazing teachers that are part of Studio B. Thank you for being here. Connect to that creative energy. Connect to your heart. Change the world by being your damn self. Be your most authentic self. Be your most amazing self. Stop playing small. Play really big. Embrace the bigness. You are amazing. You were born to be amazing. You were not born to suck. You are amazing. Own it. Embrace it. Love it. And have a great day. I'll see you all tomorrow morning.